More allegations of inappropriate behavior by a priest heard this weekend by thousands of Catholics in the tri-state. And the Archdiocese distributed a letter to the area's 150 priests, several of whom chose to share it with their parishioners. David Winter shows us what that letter was all about. David. Well, Cami, Paula, this is the letter. It refers to the story that we showed you last week about Father Jeff Drew, who was the pastor of St. Ignatius of Loyola in Montford Heights. That is before allegations of inappropriate behavior caused his removal. Since then, the Archdiocese reports many from its flock have had questions about what happened. So Archbishop Dennis Schnur sent the letter saying Father Drew was removed as pastor of St. Ignatius for reports that he engaged in grooming behavior. The Archbishop admitted the diocese had made mistakes handling the matter, and for that he was deeply sorry. In 2013, the Archdiocese heard concerns from parishioners at Liberty Township St. Maximilian, alleging Father Drew gave bear hugs, shoulder massages, padded legs above the knee, and made inappropriate sexual comments to boys. It came in 2015 when the Archdiocese referred the case to law enforcement, which decided not to open an investigation. In August of 2018, Father Drew became pastor of St. Ignatius in Green Township. Archbishop Schnur was notified for the first time about any wrongdoing when another allegation arose from Drew's time at St. Max's. This time, the Butler County prosecutor recommended the archdiocese monitor Drew. In October, another allegation from when Drew was a music teacher at Elder High School. Though Butler County found no criminal behavior, the Archdiocese retained an investigator that recommended counseling. When during counseling, Drew texted another teenage boy, the Archbishop removed him as pastor and sent him to inpatient treatment. It's frustrating to all of us. Uh, this is something that we want to put in the rearview mirror for good. We asked the Archdiocese today how these allegations affect the church. Reputationally, it hurts uh, horribly. On the other hand, I would remind all Catholics that their faith is in Jesus, not in humans, and that from the very beginning the church has been populated with flawed human beings and always will be. I'm shocked and saddened really. That Daniel Frondorf says he was abused by a priest when he was 17 and while he left the Catholic Church shortly thereafter, he says he thought things had finally gotten better. Maybe they, they learned a lesson and they started to do things that we're really keeping kids safer. And then we hear about this in 2019. Well, the diocese has now removed the head of priests who had not informed the archbishop about the grooming. And now any allegations of abuse are sent directly to human resources and the civil authorities. The Hamilton County prosecutor is not commenting at this time about the alleged wrongdoing at the Green Township Parish. Cammie. All right, David, thank you. And the Archdiocese tells Local 12 the biggest message it wants to get out to the area's 450,000 Catholics is this. If you suspect abuse on the part of anyone, you are urged to report it.